Yo, what's up guys? So in this video, I'll show you my brand new free tweaking utility. So this tool increases your FPS, decreases your latency, and also decreases your input delay. It also has more benefits like cleaning your temporary files and other useless files on your PC, which just take up your storage. But before we start the video, I want to tell you guys about my premium and standard tweaking utilities. These are basically better and more advanced versions of this one. This is just very basic. This one has about 75 tweaks and my premium one has over 350. So there's a massive difference between them. So if you notice a big difference using this one, I'm sure either my premium or standard tweaking utility will help you much more. I have hundreds of reviews on my website and Discord server, so just check them out. Now let's just start the video. All right, so the first thing you want to do is join my Discord server, discord.gg slash exm, and go to the free tweak section. And here you see the free tweaking utility version 1.1. So here, just go to the download link, right click on it, and just press download, uh, like this. And it will download it. Uh, you can see that mine already downloaded. You basically right click on it like this, press extract all, that's important. And you can see, here I have it open. So make sure to right click on the utility like this and run it as administrator. And it will create the restore point, you can see. All right, so as you can see, it just opened the utility and we have a few sections here. We have optimized registry, power tweaks, etc. So the first thing you wanna do is go to the optimized registry section. So just press one and enter. And it's gonna do a bunch of registry tweaks, so yeah. Uh, just wait for it to finish and it's done so after that we have power tweaks which here it will disable a bunch of stuff like GPU energy driver energy logging uh, fast startup hibernation and it's gonna import my power plan and you can see EXM free power plan v1 of course I'm still gonna use my uh, premium power plan since it's a lot better but you simply just select it and if you have any additional like useless power plants which you can see it deletes the default ones and if you want to fix for that just dm me on discord if you want your original power plants back but or you can simply just google it it's a very simple cmd command it's power cfg slash restore all but you can google it and so you simply just select the my power plant the exm free power plan v1 and if you have any other ones, like, I don't know, bits of high performance, ultimate performance, just delete them. Uh, this is, my free power plan is one of the best free power plans out there. But of course, I'm just gonna use my premium one. But yeah, operation completed, so just uh, go back to the menu. After that, we have window settings, so here, just press 3. Just don't be scared when there's an error, uh, since on some PCs, you cannot change some registry values, and... For certain tweaks, it shows an error when you already have them done, but I can assure you, you can use this utility however many times you want, and it won't mess up your PC. But yeah, after that we have clean, which this will just delete a bunch of temporary files, and yeah, you can see it's deleting a bunch of stuff like browser, temporary files, and I'm just gonna let it run. I'm probably gonna blur this out since it may show like some personal data or something, but yeah, I'm gonna skip to when it's finished, uh, but yeah. All right, so it just completed. I'm just gonna press enter. And after that, we have uninstalled useless apps, which uh, you just press five, and this will uninstall a bunch of useless Windows apps. It also uninstalls Cortana, and yeah, that's finished. After that, we have auto runs app, so we just press okay. And make sure you go to the logon section right here. Just make sure you pre press on logon, and after that, you should be good. So basically, disable every single service. So just uncheck everything, like at Discord, Epic Games Launcher, OneDrive, Actually, if you use OneDrive, which I don't recommend, uh, keep it checked, but yeah. Uh, this is my antivirus, so I'm gonna keep that checked. Uh, also, I'm gonna keep CMD checked and this NA file. And I'm gonna disable all stuff like Microsoft Edge updates, Brave updates. And yeah, it should look something like this. If you maybe have like a lot more stuff like Razer or whatever, I recommend disabling that. It's just bloatware and it slows down your PC when it's running in the background while you play games. But yeah, after that you can just close out of the app and press enter and it will put you back in the menu. So after that we have NVIDIA GPU tweaks. So of course, only do this when you're on an NVIDIA GPU. So just press seven, enter. And it will import my NVIDIA profile inspector profile, which this optimizes your NVIDIA 
uh, control panel settings, but in a lot more of an advanced way. Uh, of course, my premium and standard rigging utility has a bit of a more advanced, you know, it's, it's just better. You know, I'm just gonna plug it real quick because I know a bunch of you guys are struggling with low FPS and I'm sure they will help you out a lot more than this free one since there's just a lot more tweaks in them. But yeah, after that we have AMD GPU tweaks, which I have an NVIDIA GPU so I won't do them, but there's nothing really complicated about them, you just press 8 and it does everything for you and you just go back to the menu. Uh, same with Intel GPU tweaks. So after that we have CPU tweaks, which the same this disables stuff like core parking and throttle states. Uh, they're just really basic CPU tweaks and yeah, that's finished. After that we have USB tweaks, which this will disable a bunch of power saving features, etc. And yeah, that's everything. After that we have disabled telemetry, it's finished. Uh, after that we have high priority for games, so here you can select whichever game you want to prioritize more. I'm gonna add more in the future. Uh, in, in the update 1.2, which is gonna be the next one, I already basically have it finished. I'm just gonna drop it when this video gets to 750 likes, or I might increase it to 1000, depending on uh, how fast the video accumulates likes. But yeah, just select whichever games you play. Uh, if you play both, just do both. But I'll probably add stuff like GTA here, uh, Rainbow Six Siege, uh, Apex Legends and just a bunch of stuff not only Fortnite and Valorant, but most of you guys just play Fortnite So I'm just gonna select that But yeah, but yeah after that we have mouse and keyboard which this will disable filter key sticky keys and also adjust a bunch of stuff like disable mouse acceleration and Yeah, it's gonna soon open this menu where you can check high-end mid-end and low-end CPU so this is mouse that Q size and this basically makes your input uh, delay of your keyboard and mouse a lot lower. So basically just comment your CPU in the comment section, just reply with this this right here, and I'll let you know if it's a low, high, or mid-end. Uh, I have a high-end, so I'm just gonna use high-end, and it will put me back in the menu. After that, we have disable useless animations, which this will open performance options, and you basically just copy my settings like this. Uh, show thumbnails instead of icons. Actually, you can disable these, but uh, these will just make your Windows experience a bit worse, and I recommend having these checked. So yeah. After that, we have Windows Update Blocker, which this blocks Windows updates, and a lot of people may be like, why would you do this? Well, you can always enable them if you want to install one, which I don't really recommend since it's just download the bloat, but when you're playing a game and a Windows update starts in the background, it's actually really bad because uh, it can lower your frame rates it just will make your PC feel hella laggy and you don't want this to happen so if you want to install Windows Update you can just control them using this you can enable them later when you want to install one and disable them after but I personally just recommend keeping them disabled and installing them only when necessary but yeah that's basically everything uh, for the utility if you got any questions about uh, this or my premium or other tweaks just ask me in my discord server so after you finish all of those tweaks simply just go and restart your pc like this normally just restart your pc and yeah if you want to for example use a restore point from here which uh, it made at the start this will revert all of the tweaks you basically press on r and it will do this next and basically just select one of the restore points uh if you restarted your pc tried it out and it helped you a lot or even if it didn't and you just want the best and if you want more tweaks simply just press on w and it will open my website you can see and here you can check out a lot of stuff like uh, you can check out the reviews you can check out basically everything you can see i have 119 reviews and yeah i also have like another 200 in my discord server for standard there are some as well so yeah thank you guys for watching get the video to 750 likes and i'll post an updated version of the utility with a little bit more tweaks and yeah make sure to subscribe for more content like this i'll see you in the next one